Hello everyone. Uh, in this is the game between uh, Jack Mises and uh, Frank James Marshall, uh, in which uh, Jack Mises created a stunning uh, attack on uh, James Marshall, uh, which uh, leads to his uh, victory. And uh, uh, James Marshall himself is known about uh, for playing many crushing uh, and attacking games, uh, but in this case he was at the receiving end. So now, uh, as you can see, the pawn. Uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, pawn sacrifice basically so there is uh, there is already one pawn is gone now he offers another pawn and uh, uh, this is basically the damage gambit in which uh, you get this uh, d pawn and the c pawn uh, in exchange of this powerful attack using the bishops so uh, so now this uh, attack is now uh, supported uh, there is an attack on the f7 square of james marshall so he immediately goes into a defensive mode and uh, keep his uh, queen uh, to support the f7 square so now as you can see this already four pieces of white on the board uh, joining the attack and uh, the knight is now going to the center which is a very powerful position so now this is a twin attack on the bishop and the uh, queen and now the queen moves to the g3 square uh, creating an attack on the uh, g uh, g7 square now the pawn was moved to uh, you know help regarding uh, to avoid that particular support so uh, as as you, as you know this uh, knight in the center of the board was very powerful knights uh, and that's why the pawn mode was paid to push the knight off so the game continues and uh, because of the attack on the a5 knight uh, the pawn was pushed forward to support it so uh, jack mice has developed his uh, knight and uh, now it's uh, jumping into the center of the board once again and now it, it will jump into the e6 square uh, which uh, he castles actually this castling is a problem uh, despite of uh, in any ways it, it would, have, would have been a problem without, even without castling so now the knight jumps in the queen cannot take it because you know if, if he takes the queen uh, we get one queen for two uh, knights and now this bishop uh, it goes and attacks the rook and the rook do not have any other places to move so that rook got exchanged uh, for the uh, bishop the light squared bishop and and the game continues so uh, once this uh, bishop on the f8 square is taken instead of immediately recapturing uh, frank james uh, frank james marshall creates a counter attack trying to create a counter play and uh, attacking the knight and the knight uh, closes the check and uh, now this this a twin uh, attack using the bishop on the e2 square so uh, jack mises offers the knight uh, for free <laughs> Uh, but uh, as you will see, uh, he'll immediately recapture after a while, and the castle rook immediately goes to attack the uh, queen of James Marshall, and uh, now his rook is under attack. Uh, Jack's rook is under attack, so he just goes in and uh, attacks the bishop. And now that earlier knight was taken by the rook because. Uh, and again this uh, bishop is taken back and now uh, as you can see you it's almost an equal game but uh, it's not an equal game but uh, the, the attacking options are with uh, jack mises so here again the knight uh, attacks both the queen and the bishop so he gets out of it by creating a check and after the check once the check is closed again there is an attack on the queen and uh, this will result uh, in a check and that check will be uh, closed off with the rook so that pawn goes now and uh, now uh, that uh, now there is a repetition of moves basically and uh, breaking of this repetition is what results in this uh, powerful counter attack uh, or attack on the on james marshall so as you can see once the repetition happens uh, repeatedly instead of going for row james marshall uh, retrieves the queen which is which actually mistake he he didn't see this particular 
move that is coming up as you will see there's a powerful rook sacrifice uh, which is a uh, you can see that uh, if an average pair you can you'll be able to see that so uh, here actually the the king moves away without uh, accepting the sacrifice but still uh, it will be a, a checkmate i will just show you how it will land basically so now the now the taking was forced and after that uh, the rook comes in so in the earlier move the game entered so now once the king moves away it results in a checkmate this is one of the possible moves there are other moves as well you can close with the knight but uh, regardless of what you do uh, a checkmate is uh, imminent so uh, that's how the game unfolded and now let's see um, uh, here in this earlier position let's see what will happen if the king take the rook accept the sacrifice earlier so what will happen is that the bishop will come in directly and uh, the following moves will happen so uh, this is just one of the combination there are other moves and in this move uh, combination the uh, the bishop is sacrificed and now this uh, one of these rare checkmates happen using this it will, it will look quite beautiful uh, because the rook is the one who is placing the check and there are not many other pieces on the board and uh, it will be a checkmate so uh, now going back into the earlier position so uh, you might be wondering what will happen uh, like you still have this particular bishop hanging over here and uh, even if uh, uh, even if let's say the bishop goes in for the attack uh, you will still get it right so let's see what will happen if uh, instead of pushing the pawn the knight takes the uh, bishop over here so uh, so after that uh, the following moves will happen so the bishop will take back and now queen on the g3 square that is uh, jack's queen will go in and take back the bishop and this is where the game changes if uh, uh, if uh, the james marshall uh, keeps his queen over here then uh, if the rook is taken if his rook is taken he can just go back in and uh, take the uh, the uh, jack mice's rook as well so now if it's taken uh, there's an attack on the rook and this rook is gone anyways so what will happen now is that uh, even then uh, you will not get this rook because uh, black can face this move so now as you can see the queen can take it but once the queen, the queen takes the uh, james marshall queen it's a check um, and the queen is basically gone so yes you can take back the knight but uh, still the the game will be here but uh, you cannot say this is one of the possible lines that would have happened if uh, the other move was played uh, so another uh, another interesting move is uh, uh, what would happen like uh, here as you can see this uh, rook is in great trouble so uh, if uh, let's say he instead of uh, playing the bishop move which is this uh, he could have just played g6 so if this is played uh, the following moves uh, will happen because the queen comes in uh, you cannot take the uh, you know the uh, bishop sorry so uh, once the sacrifice happens and uh, there is a uh, in like this so one of these pieces will uh, go actually so uh, so that part will happen if you put in push in the pawn so that part must just do they they can see games far ahead into the future and that's how they win the game so uh, i hope that you, you enjoyed the game it's a very very uh, powerful and uh, stunning game so uh, with a lot of attacking options so if you love chess attacking chess this is one of the games that you should watch so thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed or followed us yes please do so we will uh, upload such uh, games uh, more and uh, thanks for watching so far thank you very much